Hello, I'm Harsh, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I'm going to show you how to check the functions that are available in Amazon Athena and then how to use them in Athena. Let's get started. There are many functions that can be used with select operation in Athena. As a good practice, before using, better we check if the function is supported and present with Presto version that Athena is currently using. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Athena Console. Be sure that the Query Editor tab is selected. Here you can enter the query that you want to run. I want to check the length of an array, that is I want to find the number of elements in an array. Let's run this query. Type this query and choose run query. We'll get the list of functions that are supported. Now we can search for the respective functions that we want. The description column helps to identify the appropriate function that can be used. Or if you know the function name but need clarification on the arguments to be used, you can directly search the output by searching for the keyword in the browser and then finding the function details. Here we can see that the array length function and the name of the function we want is cardinality. We search and see the arguments to be used and its return type so that we can use this information correctly in our query. Run a sample query to check the length of an array using the cardinality function. Run this query. We can see the output as 3. This is the length of the array. If we use a function that's not supported by Athena, we get an error such as function, function name, not registered. We can test this by running this example query. The output is an error as you can see. If the function that we are looking for isn't present in the list of for the use case, then we can write a user-defined function or UDF in Athena. A UDF in Athena allows you to create custom functions to process records or groups of records. A UDF accepts parameters, performs work, and then returns a result. For examples of writing and using UDF in Athena, you can check the link in the description. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.